back to my channel. My name is Just a Fun Guy, and today's episode is going to be dedicated to Betty White. Betty White turned 98 yesterday, and she's still going strong. Now, we know the roles that she's been in. She was a Golden Girl, she was on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Hot in Cleveland, and she had a whole bunch of movies under her name. But there is a bunch of roles that you forgot this Golden Girl was in. What were those roles? Well, I'm just about to tell you. These are the five roles you forgot Betty White played. Role number five. Dr. Beth Mayer played in the TV show Bones. She played this character in a handful of episodes from 2015 to 2017. Beth Mayer was a very outspoken doctor who had been married six times. She is a very memorable character, and Betty White pulled it off very well. Betty White, just like every actor and actress and her mother, has appeared on a soap opera at one time or another. She's no exception. From 2006 to 2009, she appeared as Anne Dunlis on The Bold and the Beautiful, which that soap opera had about 8,000 episodes in total. A lot of episodes. Number three, B. Sigurdsson from That 70s Show. She played this role from 2002 to 2003. And That 70s Show is a show still being quoted today. And it's been off, it's hard to believe it's been off the year 2016. Almost 14 years already. Trial. Throughout Betty's over 70 year career in Hollywood, it has been almost horror movie free. But in 1999, she decided to pick up not necessarily a horror, but it's more of a thriller slash cult film. I guess you can consider it a horror film, but it's a uh, film based around Man Eating Crocodile, so you decide. She plays Mrs. Dolores Bickerman, and Mrs. Bickerman watches her husband get eaten by a man-eating crocodile, and heck, afterwards, she feeds the thing. She plays this, uh, she, she's essentially a, uh, manipulating psychopath in this movie, and like every other role that Betty White plays, pulls it off perfectly. Perhaps there are only, perhaps one of the only roles that's actually for kids that Betty White has taken is guest starring on a Spongebob episode in 2016. Pearl goes to the mall and her friends are all working and she can't hang out with them. So like her friends, she wanted to get a job and go and she went to the places where her friends worked and there were no openings. So she goes down to a unknown part of the mall where Beatrice here has a shop that's essentially full of grandma stuff. Like a uh, uh, yard for knitting and rocking chairs and stuff that grandmas normally like. And that role just so happened to have been played by the one, the only Betty White. That's role number one you probably forgot she was in. I didn't even know if she was in because if you're over the age of 20 and you watch Spongebob like I do, you're either a child at heart or if you don't watch, you're more likely an adult at heart. You choose. Well, that was the top five Betty White roles you probably forgot she even played. What was your favorite Betty White role of all time? It doesn't necessarily have to be these five, but yours of all time. Mine is Rose Nyland, the airheaded uh, St. Olafian who had a whole bunch of interesting stories. And from what I've heard, Betty White is the exact opposite of in your head. She is a very, very smart lady. And if I get to meet her one day, that would be kind of cool. Well, my name is just a fun guy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and tell me your favorite role, and hit that bell icon. Until next time, my, I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.